Hey guys, so today what I'm going to show you is how you are going to be taking our classwork, our quizzes, our tests on this platform called GoFormative. So it's a digital way for you to take your exams. Um, I am going to post it on our stream, so make sure you guys are constantly looking at our Google Classroom. For this, you're going to click on the Go Formative or Formative assignment that I post. You're going to click on that, go to the instructions, and click on the link. So you need permission. So you're going to log in using your Google account, your school Google account. Make sure you use your school Google account. Once you do that, it's going to take you here so whatever the assignment is it's going to be right in front of you so all you're going to need to do is open that assignment and you're going to start taking your assessment so here we have simplify this problem if you want what you can do is write out this problem and write it on paper and then at the very end, once you write all your questions, make sure you number each, you're going to take a picture and I'll show you how you do that. If not, you could do click on this that says show your work and it brings you to this kind of like a canvas where you're gonna write your work. So if you want, you could use this. If you have a tablet, this is gonna be a lot easier. So I could write 3M, plus seven. Right now I'm using my computer, so I'm a, kind of slow compared to what I would be, right? I'm going to combine my like terms. I'm showing all my work. If I combine those M's, I get five M plus seven. Once you're happy with your work, make sure you always box up your final answer. So I know that's the final answer I'm looking at. And to the right, you see this little check you're gonna press the check. That means that that's what you want your final answer to be and you're ready to go to the next. So this is if you're using the draw feature, right? It's gonna be in the scribble. You're gonna leave it there if you're drawing. So six G plus A, again, very slow doing this because I wanna show my work. That's what the problem says. I'm going to be combining my G's. Combining my eight and negative two. So I have a three G a plus six. Again, once I find, I know that's my final answer. I'm going to box it up and then I'm going to press check. So if I am doing this on paper, this is how that would look. I did my work on paper, as you can see, and now I'm just gonna take pictures of these. So you guys all know how to take a picture. I'm just gonna take picture number one, number two, um, and I'm going to change the direction of my phone for number three. And as you see, it's not gonna be as clear. So now I am going to go to my camera roll and I'm going to preview my work. So I want to upload or save each question individually, not mesh together because it's kind of confusing. So you must edit your pictures, go to edit. I'm going to crop it by putting this little square piece at the bottom and I only want number one, so I'm cropping it. So it's only question one being done. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to press that right it saves it nice so i'm gonna check number two number two the same thing i'm going to go to edit and i'm going to go to the back bottom piece the crop piece and i'm going to crop it so it's only number two done and for my number three the orientation is not the way i should upload it because when I view it, this is how I'm going to see your work. So I want you guys to go to edit. And this time I'm going to go to that crop feature. I could crop this little piece if it bothers you. It's very small, so it's not really gonna make a big deal. But what you want to do is change the orientation by pressing this top arrow box piece. 
and they orient changes it. So how do you do that? This piece right here that changes the orientation of your uh, paper. So now that I have it correct or the way I want it, I'm going to press done. And here comes the easy part because once you have all your questions that you're going to submit, you're going to share it. How do you share it? With this square button with the arrow at the left corner. So you want to share it on your drive. So if you see your drive, I already have it set so my drive is always there. If you don't see it, scroll all the way to the right and you see this, these three arrows, the more. You'll click on that and add drive. So I'm going to click. I mean, just go back, cancel. I'm going to go to share. I'm going to add all my pictures in one shot. And at the bottom, if you have the drive folder already there, you're going to just click on that. If you don't, then you go to more. Look for drive. Sometimes you'll have to scroll. Look for it and click on it once you find it. Once that happens, you're going to save it on your uh, school Google Drive. So I'm going to save it there. And um, if you want, you could get fancy. You could, where it says My Drive. So let me just point to it right here where it says My Drive. You could click on that. And you could create a folder. So with this folder piece at the top, I could create, let's say, math pictures. Create, it'll create a folder, and this is where you want it to save, so you press save here. At the bottom, do you notice that math pictures is on there? It's no longer the just a drive. So that way it's a little more organized, you can do that. Press upload once you're ready. Let me do it again. So I have all three pictures, right? I, I don't want to do more work than I need to. I'm going to cl click on my drive, go to my name, to my drive. Then if I have a folder already made, I save here, upload. So sometimes the first time when you create a folder from your phone, it makes you do it again. It tells you there's an error. So just do it again and into the folder. If you're putting it straight in your drive, that's fine as well. It's just gonna start getting cluttered the more stuff you start saving. Now that you have that, those pictures from your phone on your drive, now you can go to this next step, which is go back to the go formative piece. I'm going to now click show your work and I'm gonna attach my work. So what you're going to do instead of you drawing here because now I don't want to draw, I want to just grab my picture. I'm going to go to this little picture image box. You're going to click that and I want to get it from my Google Drive because that's where you're saving your pictures. Click there, click the Google Drive you saved it as. So I'm say I saved it here. And you're going to pick the number that you're on. So this is number three. This is my picture. I'm going to select. I'm going to click on it. Select. It's uploading. And then once it's done uploading, I'm able to add image. Add image. Done. Ready to go. Check. I'm going to do it again. So I did this work on paper. I took my picture using, using my phone. I'm going to show my work again go to this box that's an image box go to google drive because that's where i suggest you guys save your pictures click the drive you have saved it on in and number four is the one that i'm on so select it uploads and again i'm able to add my picture showing my work without me having to write using the draw feature check. Once I have each of my work done, so if it's a multiple choice, it'll be a little bit easier, but I'm just showing you this um, show your work piece because that's what's a little more confusing. 
once you're done with your assignment, you double checked everything, you know you want to submit, at the very bottom, it's going to ask you to submit. It tells you how many questions you responded just in case you missed one. So if I have 15 questions, maybe by accident you skipped one or two and you just forgot to go back to it. So it's going to tell you how many questions you answered. So make sure that's uh, 15 out of 15, four out of four total questions, right? Once I'm ready, it's going to submit. It asks you again, would you like to submit your response? Yes, I would. And then it's submitted. Once it's submitted, it always gives you this option to exit the assignment or log out. If I exit the assignment, where it takes me is all my assignments that I might have. It says on this little blue piece here, says submitted. That means that I'm not able to, even if I click on it, even if I all of a sudden remembered how to do something, but once I submit, it's already done. You cannot change your answer. You cannot go back in there and change anything. So unfortunately, make sure you double check your work. If I want you to resubmit something, when you go to your uh, the title of the assignment, you'll see it as open. If you see it as open, that means that you're able to resubmit. But if you don't see it as open, then you're not able to, okay? So hopefully this helped you learn how to submit your work on GoFormative. Keep learning.